Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. All right, good morning to you. Let's take a peek at what we've got uh, kind of cooking here. I'm going to show you the radar kind of moving in with heavy rainfall with this moisture tap. I don't want to call it an atmospheric river anymore because it's almost out of our way and dry air is coming in and it's going to seal it off today. We are pretty much just turning off the spigot, so to speak. You're going to see heavy rainfall this morning getting into your morning commute and into the afternoon with a chance uh, to a slight chance of thunderstorm activity working in because of the dry air, the warm air and getting into involved with uh, some cold air funneling in as well. So that's going to bring in some of that popcorn storm uh, like uh, cloud cover as we have in here. Radar showing you here. You can pick out Monterey, Santa Cruz, Salinas here. Put it in motion. You can see how it's been flowing from the southwest working into the northeast and continuing to be heavy at times, especially around the Big Sur area, Carmel Valley, south of Carmel Valley, getting into uh, Jamesburg and uh, all the way down to Fort Hunter Liggett. Santa Cruz, uh, Davenport, all of you folks have a nice little line of, uh, of a cell coming in. That's heavy rainfall moving in the forecast area all within the next 15 to 30 minutes, depending on where you are on the list. Getting to Summit Drive just about 20 to 30 minutes or so. You can see it holding on there. In fact, it's going to continue to uh, work its way uh, to the northeast. Getting into the Bay Area, as Michelle is already talking about, we have pockets of heavy rainfall uh, moving through the forecast area. So if you are headed to the Silicon Valley or going up to San Francisco, you're going to be seeing some heavy rainfall all the way into the North Bay as well. Back uh, down into uh, Jamesburg, Big Sur in the area. This particular region has a flood advisory in effect until 7 a.m. The potential for some mudslides, uh, rock slides as well, not out of the question. Uh, you just want to be careful as you're traveling today. Just take it slow. We need you to get out and about and then come back home safely. There's that instability of the cold air I was telling you about. There's your cold front forming up right there. And in between, you've got the heavy rainfall. And there's a bit of a break right there as well. So you're going to see a break once we get into the noon hour. You may see some sunshine coming into the forecast area and then up and out as the cold front comes by. You're seeing it clearing out the clouds right behind it as we get into the evening hours. And there go the clouds taking us from mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies. Now, as you get a little bit closer, you're going to see that rainfall moving in heavy at times from the uh, peninsula all the way down through Big Sur Coast, getting into the Santa Cruz Mountains as well. There's your clearing. And remember when I told you earlier that the temperatures we're going to be seeing about from 58 to 68 degrees, and it's going to change pretty quickly on us as that cold air funnels through the forecast area. In fact, you're going to see at least up to six inches of rainfall for the San Lucia Mountains, up to about four inches now for the Santa Cruz Mountains. Low-lying areas we could see up to about two inches of rainfall. Then we get into your case. SPW 8 day forecast, you're going to go 55 to 68 degrees. Shower out actually in the afternoon with partial clearing, and then we'll go to a slight chance on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to see a little bit of rainfall pop in there. Sunday still up in the air and unsettled. Brittany, Lauren? Yeah, All right. Looks pretty nice. All right, Art. Okay. Up